Well, look, Michelle, they survived Cyber Monday. I hate the word cyber. You stop using it. Anyways, welcome back to Bleacher Report's daily esports show, eStream. I'm Malik Forte. And I'm Michelle Morrow. And on today's show, we have our very good friend Jason Moses O'Toole back to preview this E-League's CSGO Season 2 Finals. Right. And Overwatch has finally revamped one of their heroes. We're going to give you our thoughts on the all-new Symmetra. Let's start the show. All right, we are joined by our very well-groomed friend from E-League, Jason Moses O'Toole. What's up, man? How was Thanksgiving? Oh, I uh, actually spent Thanksgiving in Sweden at a, uh, at a Counter-Strike event. Another tournament went on, so Thanksgiving was spent overseas with no turkey. Wow. Yep. Sounds about right. The schedule of Counter-Strike. <laughs> no, turkey, no turkey. No turkey. All hustle. <laughs> It never slows <laughs> Word, sports. man. Hey, man, got to keep hustling. Yeah. Fair, I hear that. Fair. I hear that. No rest for the wicked. Anyways, the quarterfinals for E-League Season 2 begins tomorrow. We got our first matchup between Dignitas and SK Gaming. Is it safe to say that SK is going to advance in this matchup? You know, if there's if there's anything we've learned in the past few months at Counter-Strike, is, is nothing is safe at the moment. Um, in the, in that, that event I was at in Sweden, it was DreamHack Open. Yeah. Uh, and Dignitas was the only Tier 1 team in attendance, and they actually got knocked out in groups. Um, so that would kind of make you feel like SK you know, should be pretty safe. But at the same time, Dignitas in that tournament were pretty safe picks to win the whole event. So uh, it's all up and down at the moment. Um, Dignitas has a tough schedule coming up. I would pick SK to, to advance, but you, obviously you can't, you can't assume anything. You can't feel safe in any of the picks that we have recently. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. All right. Well, the second matchup is between Astralis and Ninjas in Pajamas, who just won IEM Oakland. So will NIP be Astralis? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Nip has looked fantastic recently. Their, their teamwork and their tactics are, are excellent. And on top of all that, um, one of their star players, Forrest, who's, who's one of the legendary players in Counter-Strike history, uh, he's been on fire recently in pretty much every event and every league that they've been playing in. Uh, Astralis has some good things going for them. They keep steadily improving, but I'm not quite sure they're there yet. I don't think they're ready for this task. Uh, so I would take NIP in this matchup. Right. Where yeah, I'm looking forward to that because yeah. uh, I feel like NIP they have like a little bit of steam coming out of I am for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, Thursday kicks off with one of my favorite teams going up against Optic Gaming uh, and Mouse Esports. Do you think Nico will carry his team to victory? Uh, I feel bad if Mouse Sports is one of your favorite teams. That's gotta be it's gotta be a rough life of, of cheering for them. Um, <laughs> they are the favorites to win this. They should be able to actually pull it off. Um, but Optic is, is sneakily a much, much better team than people uh, kind of realize at the moment. They still have some issues as well. They're still very clearly a tier two team. Um, but at the same time, Nico has been playing up to like his hard carry level. He has been playing as that superstar that we saw out of him in season one. Uh, so that's the big worry for Mouse Sports. I'm going to pick Mouse Sports to win, but I think it should be closer than people expect. There you go. Right. It's your boy. This is going to be I'm holding right. on hope. Yeah. I'm holding on hope. <laughs> all right. Well, we have last season's Champs Virtus Pro taking on FaZe in the final quarterfinals matchup. So who do you got out of those guys? Listen, FaZe have, have gotten uh, very, very good and very scary very quickly because Kerrigan is their new in-game leader who just joined right before this season of E-League started just about a month and a half ago. And, and already they're looking to be a very dangerous squad. I think the, the, the tough part for Virtus Pro at the moment, they're my best, best number one team in the world. I have them at number one. Um, they look the most solid all around as a team, but they've been taking some time off. They've skipped out on a couple events. They're going to come into this a little bit rusty. Um, so the, this first series for them against FaZe is, is extremely dangerous. I think still taking Virtus Pro. I think they have too many advantages in terms of their team play, in terms of how deep their map pool can be for Mace to phase to match them. Uh, but the skill in this phase lineup could turn it around very, very quickly. So I'm taking VP. But again, all these quarterfinals are looking extremely, extremely close. Yeah. All right, cool. So there's obviously a lot of teams, a lot of talented teams shaking it up. And you say you have VP pretty much taking it. Uh, who do you see in the finals? Is it going to be VP against who? Uh, do you have any top two teams that we should be expecting to see in the finals this Saturday? I think it's going to be VP in the finals. I think they'll be going up against, you know, it's going to be NIP versus SK uh, in the semifinal to get there. I think it's going to be against SK. I think SK mm -hmm. will eventually meet up with VP in the finals. Um, that, that side of the bracket, though, that SK gaming versus NIP, that's the most difficult side of the bracket that we have. So it's going to be interesting to see how many upsets there are. Yeah. Um, but I'm having VP just take it all. I'm having a repeat just because I like those guys. I like the way they've been playing the last few times we've seen them. Um, and like I said, they have a lot of advantages right now that a lot of other teams don't have, have in terms of their map pool, um, in terms of some of their superstars showing up. So I'm just going to go for a repeat victory and, and have the old guys and VP taking it all. All right. Back to back. There we go. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys can check out the E-League Season 2 playoffs beginning this Wednesday on E-League's Twitch channel. The semifinals are on Friday and the final Saturday night on TVS. Jason, have a great broadcast. Good luck to you, man. Thanks, guys, very much. We'll see you again uh, pretty soon, hopefully. 
All the people out there who main Symmetra have been waiting for this since the launch <laughs> of Overwatch. Blizzard has finally modified the hero, and she's currently available to play in PTR. That's right, and Symmetra now has two ultimates. Her teleporter alt got a boost in health, and it regens after it's been damaged, so that's cool. Yeah. There's also an all-new shield generator, which is used to protect her teammates. Right, and other updates to her abilities include being able to place down six turrets during yeah. the uh, the startup phase, so when you're setting up for defense, you can just put all six down. Really mm -hmm. easy. And the old shield ability has been replaced with a photon barrier, which she can throw out in front of her and she can follow it or like Ryan Hart, her teammates can get behind it. But anyways, Michelle, what are your thoughts on the new Symmetra update? Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I mean, thank God. I mean, we're, we're definitely been waiting for something with her and I like the two ultimate yeah. situation. I feel mm -hmm. like that's something that might be able to apply to other heroes in the future if this goes over well. Yeah. Um, but I, I like the fact that she has a little bit more utility with the way that her shield is being used. Right. I think we're going to see a lot more attacking Symmetras because of it. Exactly. But, you know, yeah. what do you think? She's a lot less situational. I think Kaplan hit the nail on the head. People were only using her for defense on certain levels, mainly the mm -hmm. Seesaw maps like Hanamura and Temple of Anubis. But now she has so much more utility, so much more use. Uh, it's, it's less about that. And I, I mean, she was really powerful early in the early days for her turrets. Oh, now, yeah. And I think now we're going to see a lot more of uh, of strategy with her turrets since she has all six of them immediately straight from the get go yeah. you don't have to wait for them to charge up so that's really cool and she has a little bit more range with her gun now too that's another thing we didn't dangerous. mention before that's dangerous that's dangerous and Jeff Kaplan he said oh she's not going to be sniping people with her with her, her gun but she can she, it's got a little it range goes, on it, it it's got a little range yeah. on it so I'm, I'm happy about this and you know what I'm looking forward to seeing what updates they make to some of the other characters who have kind of fallen out of the meta for instance right. Torbjorn a lot of people don't use Torbjorn <laughs> For whatever reason, uh, you know they got to redesign him too. Uh, yeah. I'm I don't know if he could get two alts though. What about who? Who do you think? Who else could use two alts? Uh, uh, if not him, uh, somebody like Mercy could use two alts. Yes, I Mercy. I yeah. sit on my alt so many times because nobody needs to be res. Right. Yeah. It would be, be cool if she had one where she could just kill everybody. Instead of raising everybody, <laughs> all the enemies, she just, you know, takes the life out of them. Sucks the life out of them. That'd I be like cool. this. I yeah. like this. Did right. you spend a lot of the holiday playing the threes? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I did. I, I did. I did spend a lot of the holiday because, you know, we're in off season now. Mm -hmm. Season three starts this week. I spent a lot of time uh, just checking out all the arcade modes. 1v1 is cool. It's so it's a lot fun. fun. <laughs> I hate mirror matches in any game, especially fighting games. But, you know, it, it, it kind of works for Overwatch. It does work. Yeah. And I think yeah. the three eliminations, that's something that we could see in the future as, yes. yes. As something that'll be a potential Turn esport tournament. It, tournament it'd be good kind of to see. Style. Yeah. Absolutely. But yeah. Are you guys going to be playing Symmetra? Because I know it's about Symmetra, but there's a lot of things going on in Overwatch right now. Are you guys stoked about the redesign? Let us know at BR underscore Eastream. And that's a wrap for today. If you want more Eastream and Esports news, you know what to do. Download Bleach Reports Team Stream app on your phone and select which specific sports teams and esports titles you want to follow and get updates on. Also, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at BR underscore Eastream. Shout outs to Yugodon and K Brad. You're going to the Capcom Cup. Congratulations. And bye.